Here are some Java IDE improvements of Eclipse 2022-12, including Java 19 support and minor Maven, Git and other improvements. Improvements that have been added since the last release in September 2022, three months ago. In the Eclipse 2022-12 Java IDE, Java 19 support is now built in. When creating a new Java project, you can select which JER to use from a list of all Java versions that now goes up to Java 19. Since Eclipse is shipped with the newest Java long-term support version, which is Java 17, in order to code in Java 19, you need to make sure that the Java 19 JDK is installed on your system and configured in the preferences in installed JREs. Eclipse's incremental Java compiler, as well as the Java editor, have been enhanced to support Java 19. There are two interesting language features in Java 19, both as preview features and not intended to be used in production. But to get an impression of the future Java, you can enable the Java 19 preview features on project properties. For example, by using the quick fix provided on the error you get when they are not yet enabled. Record patterns are enhanced instance of patterns to match record values. They can be further restricted by requiring a record value to match a specific subtype. Even further, Record patterns can be nested, which can save a lot of boilerplate code. The other preview feature is pattern matching for switch, a switch expression or statement with cases of instance ofs. Like in a regular instance of, the value can be bound to a local variable. With an optional additional when condition, the case can be further restricted. And if you like, you can even combine both preview features. Apart from the Java 19 support, there are a couple of smaller improvements for Java. Extracting something to a local variable can be dangerous when moving it in front of a check for now. Refactor, extract local variable, has become smarter by not replacing occurrences guarded by a check for null, to prevent null pointer exceptions. Other minor improvements are the three quick fixes, control 1, that are now also provided on classes that have fields. Create getters and setters, create hash code and equals methods, and create a string method. Maven support has improved as well. In the preferences, Maven, automatically update Maven projects configuration is now no longer experimental and enabled by default. With that, the project configuration is updated when the POM file is saved. For example, in the Maven compiler plugin, when you change the configuration, you no longer need to manually update the Maven project. For dependencies without explicit version, the managed version is shown in the hover now. And the Content Assist now provides proposals for more properties that expect a file, or a directory.
The XML editor used in the POM editor and in the generic text editor has also been improved. When you type a start tag, the end tag is automatically added. Or the other way around, when you turn a start tag into an empty element, the end tag will be removed automatically. That's handy, isn't it? You can configure formatting to your needs. In Preferences, XML Wild Web Developer, Formatting. Note that you won't find settings for indentation here, because the settings for text editors are used instead. Handy is also the bind to schema grammar link at the top of unbound XML files. You can choose a schema or grammar at DTD, XML schema, or, and that's a new thing, a relaxng file. The chosen grammar is used for validation. For code completion, and when hovering over an element or an attribute for displaying available information. Apart from the XML syntax, the compact syntax is also supported. Nice, isn't it? Eclipse Wild Web Developer provides more than support for XML when fully installed, which is the case in Eclipse IDE for Enterprise Java and Web Developers. Otherwise, when missing, Wild Web Developer can be installed via the Marketplace, as already done here. HTML, CSS, JavaScript, TypeScript and many more common web formats and frameworks are supported. In the Preferences there is now the section HTML Wild Web Developer with, for instance, Format which allows you to customize the HTML formatter to your needs. New are also the preferences for CSS, SCSS and LESS for validation. To change the severity or to disable validation checks. And by the way, the bind to schema grammar link at the top of unbound XML files shown before can also be disabled in the preferences XML Wild Web Developer Code lens. Wild Web Developer supports also TypeScript 4.9, the latest version of TypeScript. In TypeScript 4.9, the satisfies operator has been introduced for cases where the generalization of an intersection type leads to problems. The satisfies operator solves this problem by moving the type away from the variable or constant to the satisfies operator, so type checking is not lost. Last but not least, there is also a small git improvement that might be helpful to know one day. In the git staging view, you can select two files Right-click and choose Compare with each other. The 
these were some of the Java IDE improvements of the quarterly rolling release December 2022. Thanks for watching and happy coding!